Alrighty folks, I'm working on a GE XL44 gas stove today. First, before you start working on it, please unplug the electrical. And if you're not comfortable with the gas being on, there's a valve coming out of the wall, gas valve, that you can turn off so that no gas is coming to the stove. If you turn your stove top on, gas stove top on, and it goes click, 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 and it won't light, there are some common problems that you can look at and fix yourself. So here we go. First, remove the cap. This is called the cap. Then remove the base. This is the base. Here's the little igniter right there. And that's what we'll be working on. So now we'll move on to taking the uh, spark igniter out. I'll show you how to do that so that you can replace it yourself. Alrighty folks. So now what I'm going to show you is how to lift this gas stove top. First, you remove the caps and the bases, set them aside. Next, mine are already loose. There are some screws. Right here. See that one? And that one. Each burner will have screws. Each mine has one at each burner. You could have two, three, whatever the case. You have to remove these. So what that is, is a Torx uh, screw head right there. And this bit, it's like a little star. Let me see how close I can get it. You see that? That's a Torx bit right there. You want to remove these screws. And that's what I'm going to do now before you try to lift this stove top. After you remove the caps from each burner and the bases and remove the screws at each base, now what you want to do is either use 5-in-1 tool. There's many type tools you can use, but I like the 5-in-1. You can use a putty knife too, but I like this. There are some clips located at each end of the stove, about two and a half inches center. From each end of the stove. You want a paper towel to put the tool up against, lay the tool up against so that you don't damage the stove itself. So here we go. You push the clips in. See how I'm pushing that in? You push them in to release the tension. There you go, it lifts up. Same with this guy over here. There you go. Now, you'll be able to see the, the clips. There's a clip. And there's a clip. So you've just released those to release the stove top. Bring the stove top up. There are some arms that extend right under here. Get a flashlight so you see them. Right here. They're little stands that keep the stove top up for you. Some are longer, mine are short. So what I'm gonna do, because I want it to stand up, is I'm gonna use a piece of wood. There you go. I'm gonna use this piece of wood and wedge it somewhere that's safe for the stove, which is right there. So that just brings the stove top up higher, easier to work. We're going to remove the keeper now from this spark igniter. We're going to push it back with a screwdriver. Just protect this. I'm going to protect mine because it's, it actually works. If yours isn't working, I guess it doesn't really matter. So use this screwdriver to work it off, that keeper. See it coming off right there? Just ease it off. Once it gets to a certain point, you can use the needle nose pliers to get the rest of it. There you go, there's the keeper. This spark igniter is now free. So you can either replace it from the top or you can replace it from the bottom.
So what you do, it's just easier to show you here. What you do is you grasp the insulator, spark igniter, give it a good hold, pull the wire right off. You can either then put the spark igniter through the top and put your new one in place like this. Goes right through. Put the new one in place. Or you can do it from underneath. So if you want to do it on top, you put this through, put the wire through, attach it, the wire to the new spark igniter up top and bring it back down. But for purposes of showing you how to do this, which I'm sure you've caught on, is just do it from the bottom. Grab the insulation right there, the insulator, and push that right on. Push the wire on, and there you have it. You see how that is? Now, it's time to put the keeper back on. And to do that, I would use a screwdriver to ease it on. And be gentle, you don't want to break the ceramic insulator around that new spark igniter. So just ease this on a bit. Back and forth, work it back and forth until it starts to go on. And use the screwdriver to protect the insulator. Start pushing that keeper on. There you go. Back and forth, each side. You get it in place. And there you go. The keeper's in place doesn't move. Now the spark igniter doesn't move. That's how easy it is to replace those. I will say that when you put the keeper on, when you put the spark igniter in, make sure the flat part is facing the interior of the stove because that's the way it was. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just replaced your own spark igniter and saved yourself a bunch of money. Make sure that keeper's secure. Put the stove top back down. Put the screws back in. We'll do that in just a minute. And now all you have to do is replace the screws, put them back in, the bases, and the caps. But what I wanted to show you is what I do, I spray a little bit of silicone in a little container and use a Q-tip, put some silicone on that screw before I replace it. And the reason I do that is if you need to get into the stove again, it'll be easier. So you just put the screw in there, Tighten her up. I just use this as a little manual driver here. And of course, before I ever put the base and cap on, I'm going to tighten that. You put the base on, the cap on, and you are done. You have fixed your own stove and saved yourself a boatload of money. I hope this video helped you, and I will see you guys next time. Happy DIY.